one fall. And it is for the Santino Brothers Inner City Championship. <laughs> Introducing first, the challenger from the angelic wasteland. He weighed in this morning as a flyweight. He is a former Santino Brothers Submission Champion, La Mosca, Eli Everfly! And introducing the champion from Pico Rivera, California, weighing in at 170 pounds. He is the Santino Brothers Inner City Champion, the Gravity Renegade, Lucas Riley! Well, in a one-on-one -on -one match, you look for the advantages and the disadvantages, and one of the things I would immediately want to bring up about Eli Everfly is he is a high flyer, but the problem is for him as Lucas Riley is just as a as tall of a high flyer as high as a high flyer as Eli Everfly is so this is going to be hold on to your hats this is going to be a wild match you said it Halston absolutely there's the advantages that Eli Everfly usually brings to the table with his speed his agility his quickness he is matched pound for pound with Lucas Riley. And pound for pound is an apt choice of words. Lucas Riley has been putting on mass lately. He's been getting stronger, more formidable. Championship gold has looked good on him and he's risen to meet his title. This match, I feel there'll be parts of this match that are gonna be a blur because it's gonna go by so fast. These two are speed demons. They know how to bounce. You know, if you If you blink, you might miss it. That's the type of Act, action they bring to the table, but right now they're feeling each other out in the beginning of this match, trying to wear each other down early. That is true. Eli Everfly is a master of holds. Uh, Lucas Riley, no slouch himself with that unorthodox maneuver there. Pulls, he doesn't get the shoulders down, but keeps him on the top of his head. But that's Eli Everfly right there is crazy and unpredictable. You never know what you're going to find when you face somebody with a mind like his. Kind of an interesting startup. You'd think they'd start bouncing right off those ropes, trying to get that upper hand from, you know, the height advantage, obviously, but they're absolutely trying to, it's almost like uh, when you watch uh, arm wrestlers and they're trying to feel each other's hands and where their thumb is placed and all that. It takes them a while to get that grip, and that's what they're doing right now. Right now, the test of strength, sizing each other up. Everfly looking for the right move to make here. He wants a taste of that championship gold. Who doesn't? Lucas Riley has brought a lot of prestige to the belt. Oh, and here comes a monkey flip from Everfly, but they don't break the hold. Oh, both men bridging on the top of their heads. And then a pass over there from Riley. Cazadora set up from Eli Everfly into the arm drag. Passes over, shoulder block. Puts Everfly down to the mat. Leapfrog, Everfly's waiting for him, but oh, Riley there rebounds into the ropes. Ready for him with that snap kick. Eli tries again. Now this time, Riley with the Cazadora roll up and a stomp to the chest. Oh, it goes for the cover. Crushing his rib cage like with a Mario-like bounce. Trying to make quick work, trying to make it an early night. Lucas getting the support of the fans here. He has been a champion champion so far. He has earned that belt. He's got to hold on to that title. And Eli is going to be a formidable opponent tonight. So far, it's been mostly Lucas Riley. But we'll see how long that lasts. Lucas Riley, a very energetic competitor, very spirited. Again, finding that momentum, finding that energy from the crowd here that's right there behind him. They were cheering him on during his entrance. Oh my goodness! Big twisting DDT from Eli Everfly. He's now for the cover. And only a two count before 
that Lucas is Lucas Riley gets his feet up. Absolutely, that's the one thing I have to say right now is that the, that's the thing I love about both these competitors. They can turn on a dime. You think they're going one way, they can just take a 45 degree turn and cut you off at a moment's notice. And Eli Everfly turning that sequence right around, taking advantage of it and giving giving a surprise. They're not, they're not just fast. They're not just quick. They're sudden. That's a very important distinction. They find that momentary opening. Wow! That rolling heel kick leaves a bad taste in Lucas Riley's mouth. Here comes Everfly off oh. the top rope. Whoa! Avalanche, Hurricane Rana spelling trouble for the champion. So one thing I know about Eli Everfly, don't ever be surprised by his size. He will get up higher than you could ever imagine. This is, oh no, where is he going with this? Oh, move salt oh. into the fans! Into the front row! Almost taking out the lights in the on the truss there. What a jump! Reminds me of back in the day of the Atlantic Haw Atlanta Hawks. Spud Webb reminds me of those. He used to be in the dunk contest. That dude was like 4'11. Unbelievable. Oh look, clearing the crowd. Where, the where, where is he going with this? This is just gonna be danger personified, and that is Eli Everfly's middle name. Does he want a, a runway or a crash zone? It's like We're he's setting up bowling out. pins for a strike here. Here he comes. Oh! Nasty kick. Keeping him down, trying to torture him. But again, this is... Uh, where is the referee in all this? I mean, he's got to get control of this. This is not going to be fun for one of these competitors if something goes wrong out here. Riley now with the super kick, making some distance between him and Eli. You know, when you're oh, taking these- Comes out of, oh, oh, oh no! Almighty! Oh, Flipped and deposited onto the chairs. He's just a boy, Eli. This is, this is the, the area of, I mean, you're supposed to win in the ring, but when you're out here amongst the chairs, amongst the hard wood, amongst, I mean, there's steel everywhere. This is, it, you, could, you could get injured at this point. Eli could be taking him out. Oh, and a sickening thud on the hard parquet floor. I mean, real talk, he might not be able to win, but he might be able to injure him, leaving that, leaving that championship void if he can't defend himself. Everfly has been thinking about this for a while now. He was scheduled to face Riley at our last show, but it was unable to meet Lucas Riley, who had a Oh my God, a chop Listen, for the ages. I know we have a street fight later on with Ray Rosas and Cameron Gates, but this is turning into an absolute brawl. We might not need the ring for this one. As I was saying, Lucas Riley unavailable for the last show, had to cancel last minute. Eli Everfly has been thinking about this. A stomp of his own comes crashing down. Riley, worse for wear, goes for the cover. Two, two and a half. You have to wonder if there's an advantage for Eli Everfly in a situation like that. Is he gonna have time to study more tape? Is he gonna have time to watch the moves of the, you know, the aerial aerial assault of Lucas Riley from years past? How he moves, how he thinks, what he can possibly telegraph in a move like in a in a match like this to get the that championship around his waist. At the very least, we know that he's been simmering and thinking, and that desire and that aggression has been boiling over as we see demonstrated by those disrespectful boots in the corner. Right, don't be fooled by the green tongue. Don't be fooled by the flashy colors. When Eli Everfly wants to get mean, he gets mean. And he has been nothing but mean to Lucas Riley so far. He's got a green tongue and gold fever. He wants that championship for himself. The two men now exchanging slaps to the face. Trying to just prove a point, I guess. Oh! Everfly with the Enziguri sends Lucas Riley into the corner, catching his breath. Woo. That slap fest was like when a percussion team starts getting their rhythm, just kept going and getting louder and louder. Trying to punish that arm, taking away one of the limbs, at least something for Lucas Riley to use. You know, I mean, if, if I were to give my manager an input, if I, if I were to try to give them some guidance for two folks who are absolutely at the top of their aerial game, I would try to take out their legs, their knees, something they can't jump from. They, if you're just trying to take an arm out, they can still kick you. And a cover now, Riley was weakening that leg. 
Eli kicks out. He was weakening that leg for the schoolboy pin attempt there. Riley gets the boot up, keeping himself safe from the danger. Goes for a sunset flip, but no, pulls him over into a, oh, into a complicated package maneuver. Bye-bye, oh. says Riley. Oh. Paced him to the mat with a DDT. Like, like a, a hammer first. to a nail, just pounding his head right into the middle of that mat. This could be it. He took Everfly off of his feet and flipped him over and, and just deposited him head first. Woo. Lucas Riley has been competing all over. You said he's been a, he's been at GCW. He's been wrestling for New Japan Pro Wrestling. I don't know what kind of new tricks he's picked up in this recent time uh, defending that title, just getting out in the world. But maybe he's got something Eli Everfly hasn't seen before. And I hate to stir the pot, but you know me, I love stirring pots. Here's the question I have. Oh my, Halsey, we're at an eight count here. Oh, looks like, okay, both men are getting to their feet. You may go on. There we go. But the question I have is, how did Lucas Riley prepare for this match? I mean, he's known Eli Everfly for years, but when you don't wrestle again, if you're, if you're not if you're not taking on the competitor, you're you know it's a it's a blank slate. You don't know where he's coming from. You can see he's digging into that that intensity, that curiosity. Riley now just I've never seen him lit up like this. But Everfly puts a stop to it right there. But here he comes with that Superman punch. And now off the ropes with his own momentum. Oh no! Stop short with the knee. Oh! Catches Eli out of where. Oh. Another running knee goes for the cover. This the could be all. Oh no! No! I thought I, I thought I saw teeth flying out of Eli's mouth. My God! Scarlett Donovan saw feet flying onto the ropes. Rolls him over for a cleaner cover, and no such luck. He had him. He had him, Marty. Now he's got to he's got to regroup, but he can't regroup too long. He's got to take take care of business. Eli is down. I, I mean. Did you see what flew out of his mouth when he kicked him with that knee? It was just unbelievable. It was disgusting, whatever it was. I don't want anything coming out of Eli's mouth. Oh. <laughs> Looks like Riley's calling for it now. He wants to put an end to this. Feeling confident, but he's got to take care of business. He's got him in position. He's got something planned here. Oh no! Eli escapes with a quick knee. Oh. And a spinning hand, a spinning, spinning backhand, and a series of kicks. He's going to make himself dizzy this way. Lucas Riley with the look of a wild man. Eli grabs the trunks and, and finds his opening now. Gets up for that DDT attempt again, that satellite DDT. There no! Goes. Riley stops him, puts him down with a snowplow, goes for a cover. Two. Does not get the job done. Where, where is Eli even getting this from? It seems like Lucas has had the advantage for most of this, the, at least the last part of this match so far. You were asking, Halston, how does Lucas Riley prepare for a fight against Eli Everfly? The thing is, you really don't. There's no way to know everything that he can pull out from his under his hat or out of his sleeve because Eli Everfly is full of tricks. Even once he'll make up on the fly, he is unpredictable and crazy. Here comes Riley with the momentum now over the top rope. Flipping over the top of Eli Everfly. Cannot escape the, the, the kick though. Everfly's got him where he wants him. Oh no, oh Looks no, Looks like no, a no. package pile driver. Oh, 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 oh my oh, oh, God. Oh no, that's probably it. Poor young Lucas Riley covered 2.8. Going he for it again. For it again. He's found what works, he's going back to the well. Oh no, a new technique. Oh my God. Oh, oh spiking it harder. Gotch style pile driver, that's gotta be all. He's breaking the skull open of Lucas Riley and no. How is this even possible? Eli is reeling right now, but he's not, he's doing the smart thing. He's trying to take her business as fast as possible. Oh, that reverse frog splash. That's gotta be it. Two. What? Two. I just want to say the number three, come on. What else does Eli Everfly have? I just said he's full of surprises. You can't predict what he's got next. But Lucas Riley is taking everything he can dish out and then some. And you have to wonder how much energy Eli has after that, that series of trying to just knock him down one after another. Three attempts with three big power moves trying to win that championship. What is left? You can't give, I'm telling you right now, you can't give Lucas Riley any any time off of that he has got to 
You got to strike. Get focused and take care of this. Eli's got to strike while the iron's hot, while his opponent is dazed. He takes him up to that high rent district. Eli Everfly used to ruling the skies. He seems to have clipped the wings of the aerodynamic Lucas Riley. But here Lucas firing back. What can he do from this position? Not the most advantageous place to be for either competitor. But again, high risk, high reward. Eli Everfly never one to be concerned about his safety. I'm not one for fist, night, fist fights flat on the ground, but one up 15 feet in the air is not even, that's, that's, that's even worse. A precarious position to be sure, Halston. What are they even thinking about doing up there? Oh no! Oh yes! my goodness, Cutter 99 from the top! But Lucas, he's gotta capitalize! Lucas Raleigh now with the speed. Here, Here it is. is, that's the Cutter 99 oh! officially. Goes for the pin. And number three, here is your winner, and still, Santino Brothers, Inner City Champion, Lucas Riley. I have to say, Marty Quinn, he earned that championship belt the way he did it against Cam Dates, with tenacity, with just whatever fortitude he could pull out of his his gut, he's still holding his abs because he know that's where he had to use the most to get the most results. But right there around his waist, that's where he'll be putting that championship belt tonight. And you know that's got to feel good to go home with that piece of hardware, that ultimate medal of your worth and valor here at Santino Brothers. Eli seeming to egg on another fight with him, but the match is over. Eli, you gotta go home and rest up. Oh. Eli's so proud of his, his pupil. How far that Lucas Riley has come. Who knows how long until Eli Everfly will get another bite of the apple, another shot at that championship. But as it stands, he's proud that he put out the best he could. And Lucas still stands tall. What the hell? I'm checking my notes. What the hell is Jack Fancy doing here? Maybe managerial services? What is Jack Fancy offering Lucas Riley? First of all, why Guidance? is Jack Fancy even here? That's a very good question. And oh my, what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is, who is this? Someone attacking Lucas Riley from behind with that. What, what is that? Also, from my managerial standpoint, why is Jack Fancy here in the first place? It looked like he had something to offer Lucas Riley, maybe some guidance or management, but I think it was just a setup for this masked assailant. And again, with that, that heavy tasseled object, I don't know what that is, but it's that making a like loud some sort thud. of suitcase, some sort of Samsonite or some Halliburton. The noises it's making are unholy. Looks like Jack might explain Wasn't himself. Wasn't that beautiful? Huh? Wasn't that great? Hey, when Jack Fancy, that's me, when Jack Fancy has the microphone, you people shut your ugly mouths, okay? I, I think that applies to us as well. So rude. So rude. Deeply rude. Because I want to introduce the newest member of Fancy International. Not yet, not yet. He is bona fide. He is certified. He is qualified. He is the greatest technical wrestler in the world today. I give you Mr. Alonzo Alvarez. What? Lucas Riley's former training partner they go way back like car seats. What a betrayal. Listen, Alonzo Alvarez, he used to be under my tutelage. What, 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 what? Lucas. <laughs> Look at me while I'm talking to you, Lucas. From day one, day one, it's always been about us, Lucas. It's always been you and I. I mean, look, we started together. We've trained together. 
We had our very first match together. Heck, we've even traveled the world together. Huh? We were once brothers. But I'm sick and tired of sitting in the back and watching you get put in the spotlight. Being put in all these big matches, all these championship matches, while I have to fight my way for a spot on this card. But look at you now, Lucas. Look at you now. You're a champion, huh? Congratulations. See, all I've ever wanted when I got into this was to be a champion. That's all I've ever wanted. Huh? But, and now all I do, Lucas, is win and win and win. But let's be honest, Lucas. You and I both know that I've always been better than you. But now that I have Jack Fancy by my side, it's my turn to be put in this spotlight. It's my turn to be put in these big matches. It's my turn to finally get the championship opportunity that I deserve. So Lucas, June 17th, I challenge you for the inner city championship. And I wanna prove to all these idiots, and I wanna most certainly prove to you that I'm better than you. Wow, harsh words from Alonzo Alvarez, who said he's tired of waiting for his opportunity. He's making his opportunities now and sneaking up on the champion, Lucas Riley. I'm more offended that Alonzo Alvarez didn't call me back. I mean, what is he doing with Jack Fancy of all people? That's, I mean, does Jack Fancy, how did he get invited into this building? Alonzo, I told you. When you signed with Jack Fancy, Fancy International, that big things would happen. And tonight we made an impact. And on June 17th, right here in Kuda, hey, <laughs> you've got your title shot. And let me show everyone this. There it is. It's official. It's briefcase official. Alonzo Alvarez is with Fancy International. You see this? <laughs> this? Sooner or later, I'm going to be number one at Santino's. Oh, you already are number one, baby. Good God! Alonzo, I hope you're happy. I really do. You know, you surprisingly enough, you made a lot of good valid points out there. We, we, we've traveled the whole world together. We started together. But you know what it comes down to? It comes down to jealousy. You saw me rise to the occasion, and you couldn't handle. You got left behind, and you couldn't handle. I tried to bring you with me, but you don't want it. You didn't want it. You'd rather put food on your plate, but take from mine. And yeah, it's over. Five years. No, 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 like almost a decade of friendship down the toilet. June 17th, I accept your challenge. Just know that I'm putting you down and you're not coming back up. You broke our friendship and it can't be fixed. 
June 17th, you're done. I'm not bringing you with me. You're done. You're getting left behind. You're done. You're fucking done. <laughs>